Hello everyone and welcome to Extreme Bulls 4. I'm Steve Chappell. My team and I are excited to have you join us for our great hunts from 2006. Follow me with our first hunter Dave Mount for an archery hunt in the big bull country of Arizona. On camera is good friend Nevin Shippey. As Dave and I get in close to this bugling bull, we find him bedded with cows all around. Dave and Nevin get set up and I crawl back in hopes of calling the big bull into archery range. Initially, this bull wouldn't respond to my cow call since he is bedded with cows all around him. But check out his reaction when I mix in some growling and bugling on the Terminator bugle. Sorry, Nevin. <laughs> First thing I'm gonna say is sorry, Nevin. <laughs> he had me pegged and I couldn't call anymore. He was looking, and I knew if I called I anymore, he would, he would get suspicious. I thought he had us pegged. Yeah, he looked. He was looking at me and looking at you guys. Oh, really? Toward the end, he had, he was looking at you guys. But I knew if I called, I was just waiting for him to make a move, and then I was gonna call. As another morning breaks in the pine forest, we close the distance on another bugling bull. My guides and I call in many bulls for our archery hunters each year. Keep in mind as you watch these hunts that we are only showing you about one third of the bulls that we call in. 
This great bull, which we nicknamed Kicker, is an awesome 6x7 that we found during the preseason. Watch his amazing response to the calls. Well, lucky for Kicker, he saw something not quite right and stayed just out of Dave's bow range. But don't worry, you'll see more of Kicker up close in the hunts to follow. A couple of mornings later, with many more bulls in our memories, we get in close to this Arizona monster. Listen as this bull we call Big Six approaches the Estra Scream, a call that I have used with great success on rutting bulls. You're probably wondering, as we were, why this bull wouldn't commit and come on in. If you listen close, you'll hear another guide's bugles as he approaches this bull from directly upwind and spoils our setup on the bull. Once we realize this, I stop calling and we let Big Six move away with hopes of getting on him again. Forty-five minutes later, and a mile further into the forest, we find ourselves in the middle of three bugling bulls. Watch this scenario unfold and you'll see what calling and jealousy can do to the fate of a mature bull.
Guess who? Yep, it's Big Six showing up again for another look, and Dave knows just what to do with a big bull in bow range. Thirds. Look at that. That third, I'll bet that third's 18 inches long right there. I can't believe this is what the third, it was the third time we encountered him. Yeah. We yeah. finally got him. We had him at 100 yards, we had him at 75 yards, and then we had him at 35 yards. About. <laughs> had a, another smaller bull come in on us from behind, and another bull was coming in, and this bull was pretty cautious, but when all that broke loose in there, he. Nevin, thank you, man. Yes, thank man. you, Nevin. It's fun. It's been fun, Dave, man. Thanks yeah. for letting me follow you along with the camera. <laughs> it's been awesome. I had a great time. Steve told me you're quiet. I wouldn't even know you're back there. He was right. <laughs> Where's Nevin? Oh, there he is. Back behind you.